Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you come across this video, thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I love you guys so much. <laughs> I do. <coughs> Throat chakra. Um, okay, so a little announcement is, so first of all, I'm doing this, I, I want to do a collective reading like this because I feel like there's infiltration on the live videos. And I'm wondering if that's why we keep getting the same shit. Because the same, there's like some sort of troll that knows what they're doing, that knows that I'm going to pick up on their energy <laughs> that keeps showing up. So, um, anyways, uh, so I want to try this um, and see, look, as I say that, I cut the deck at the sun card here, okay? Um, and also, I wanted to announce that starting this week, um, that the Zodiac sign readings are going to be posted on Patreon. Okay. So as of right now, as of today, the fire signs are up there and we will be doing those. Um, I'm going to kind of get, I've been through, I've been going through a resting stage. God has also had me on a, um, on a godly pause, but, um, I have, I have been patient and I have, kind of been, you know, I ordered my steps and now I'm just waiting, right? But it seems as though there is some sort of um, consistent, consistent schedule that seems to be coming through. But anyways, moving forward. So, um, so yeah, little announcement. And I'm not sure why I was just randomly like looking around for a pen and paper like I was going to write some shit down like I didn't already have it in my head. But anyway, so yeah, Zodiac signs are on Patreon, okay? Um, so if you would like to join us on Patreon, that is in the description box below. Anyways, let's get a collective message. Let's see what the collective, what, uh, what does the collective need to know at this time? It's really hot in here. Like suddenly I just got really hot and also I want to switch decks here. So... But yeah, we're going to um, see if we can do a little work around this energy that keeps trying to infiltrate your readings, Collective, because I am about sick of it. And I think we can figure it out. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do they need to know? Please. Please. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> uh, that song, hold on to me, because I'm a little unsteady. Okay, just came into my mind, okay? Um, so, you know what? You might be collective. You might be, uh, when I said, you know what, now I look at me like, what? <laughs> I love him. Um, you might be kind of in a space where you feel unsteady, okay? Or where you feel like you, it's almost like you're really leaning on the divine right now, okay? And that's, I feel like that's exactly where you should be, okay? This is not to say, like, I, I really feel like, and I'm feeling like a hard lean, okay? like a hard lean. All right. Um, you know, like, like a Michael Jackson lean. Okay. Where he is like, almost like, you know what I mean? And that's okay. Collective. Okay. Because that's probably exactly where you're supposed to be. And by probably, I mean, that is exactly where you're supposed to be. Okay. There is something about this, like trust fall. Okay. Or this, um, I, I honestly, what I feel like is there is this energy of like you leaning further into trusting the divine. And that's why the lean is so hard. Okay. That's why you're, you may be super comfortable in this lean. Others of you, you're feeling very unsteady and you're not comfortable, but this lean is to get you more comfortable, right? To where you are literally just like I'm, I'm like, it's like that literal trust fall. Right. And I'm, I'm seeing somebody just kind of like, really like lean into the divine and know 
that you are going to be caught. Okay. And it's it, like, it, it's not even like you're falling. It's like, you're already, you've already fallen. And, and so there's almost this energy of like, some of you may feel unsteady because you're like, are you going to push me back up? Or am I just going to lay here? Or how far are you going to take me down? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's kind of this energy of um, maybe a little bit uncertainty or, or something like that. But what this is, is really developing your trust. Okay. And it's also releasing your control. Okay. Because a lot of you, I feel like have gone through this process multiple times in which where you maybe would like lean right into it, but but because like it would like, you know, for some reason you take it into your own hands and stand back up. Right. And then the next thing you know, you're, you're trust falling again. Right. And then, it, it, and you're taking it into your own hands, but there's something about, um, allowing the divine to hold on to you during this time. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now again, Take this as it resonates, right? Because like we're all in different stages, okay? And I feel like a lot of you are about to be encouraged to get up and start moving and do things, right? And and to, you know what I mean? Like, like you might be in this unsteady place, but it, it's because you're about to be, you know, it, it's almost like just as soon as you, you get relaxed, right? Just as soon as you really kind of like get, in that comfort, right? Where you're like, oh, this is kind of nice. I think that I could, I think that I could work with this, right? Where you're just like, like literally just being held by the divine. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like the moment that you get to that energy is the moment when the divine is going to be like, all right, you're back up and here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay. And with the bottom of the deck is prosperity. I love that for you. I love that for you. Okay. So, um, okay. So with that being said, okay, you may be experiencing some hardships right now. May, just things might be a little bit tough or they might be, you know, I don't know there, but, but again, it, it is, um, it is that leaning right? It's that, are you going to be held? Are you going to trust that, that we have this, right? We being the divine, you know what I mean? Drink your water. So thirsty. Um, Now, for some of you, this lean is actually a shift in your intention, okay? You're shifting from a space of um, lack, okay? Because when we go through healing and stuff like that, we, we uh, and, and we're in a, you know, like a lack mentality or, or something like that, right? When you go through, experience a lot of complex trauma and such, um, we create from that space of lack. Okay. So your intention, while consciously it may be higher vibing than what you, what you think it, the energetic expression is. Okay. Your, your intention, the base root of it is to solve this survival mode, right? To pull out of this survival mode and to, and, and to solve these problems. Okay whether you realize it or not, you know, we've, we've got a lot of healers out here that are, that are waking up and, and, and they're beginning to heal themselves and they just want to go and they want to help others. Um, and so they, they begin to create these businesses or whatever, but, but, um, but it's out of a space of, I don't know, it's hard to explain because as somebody who did the same thing, right? Like at, at one point, you know, my intention was, it was like, okay, so I know what I'm here to do on this planet. So I'm going to create this business so I can make money. Right. And now my intention, now that I've healed that, or I'm healing that black wound, right. It's not about the money for me. It's about helping others 
find themselves, to love themselves, mm -hmm. because that's what I desire, which that was my desire too in the beginning, right? But in that time, I was in this survival mode, right? Where I was just trying to get out of the rat race, right? So hold on, let me take Maui out. I'm a little unsteady. Yeah. Um, okay, so ooh, it's chilly out there today, folks. It is not as warm as it has been. Um, now, so with that being said, that is what's shifting here is your intention, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you are moving out of actually a time of like some sort of hardship or um, honestly, I feel like it's mixed. Okay. I feel like a lot of you may be going through what you would consider a hardship, um, but your perception is what is making the experience different for everyone. Okay. And your, your comfort in the lean. All right. Because like, this hardship is just an illusion so that you can get comfort, like find that comfort in the lean. Okay. Um, yeah. With this sanctuary here, that's, this is exactly what's going on. Okay. There it, it's like, I'm picking up on this energy where Collective, a lot of you may experience a lot of really, and I don't want to even say experience, you may witness a lot of very scary things, like in the future, okay, like with the world, with everything going on. When I looked up, it was one, two, three, four, okay, you may, but but there's something about, or or it's like, even right now, it's like not even saying like that this is like a future thing, this is like a now thing you are, the divine is working with you to create this sanctuary within yourself to release all attachments from anything but yourself, but this human vessel and your relationship with God. And if you have kids that too, that those are extensions of yourself, just as you are an extension of God. Do you see what I'm saying? And so, um, yeah, there's, it's like, you're going through a process right now in which you're releasing some things. Okay. Things are being removed. Okay. People are being removed. Um, habits are being removed that are, that do not allow you to move forward. Okay. Like it's like, there are You're moving towards, towards a space of prosperity, whoever you are, okay? And it doesn't matter what the world around you looks like. You're moving towards a space of, of prosperity, okay? And it's all about divine timing, but it's also about working through these things, okay? Um, in order to really call this, to call this in, Something about wrapping your head, okay? Some of you might might want to start wrapping your head or you might want to um, like wear hats or or something here, okay?
If you can hear Maui, he's fine. He's just outside talking to his neighbor friend, okay? <laughs> There's another German Shepherd that lives, uh, my poor neighbor, she lives in between two German Shepherds. And when they're outside, they talk to each other. <laughs> okay, so um, he's fine. He's safe. Okay, all right. What is the collective need to know, please? Yeah, look, we have the Eight of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. Um, this is also you moving on from holding on so tightly to something. And this could be that spaciousness, okay? You could be holding on really tightly to some sort of clutch, some sort of butterflies might be very significant, okay? I'm just suddenly seeing these three butterflies. The number three, we picked up on that earlier. Um, but like these... Um, so I, I do feel like you are emotionally disconnecting from, from something, someone, some, this, you know, uh, some place that you've probably held on to for a little bit, okay? Um, but this is something that's keeping you, because you're holding on so tightly to whatever this is, it's keeping you stuck in this seat. You see what I'm saying? It's like you've got one foot here on here and one foot here. You've got to hold this, then you've got this one back here. I'm not even sure. It's like you have to sit very still and, and um, you know, I don't, there, again, it, it has to do with this lack of there's not enough. There's something that you're holding on to so very tightly, collective, that needs to be released. I feel like you are doing this in this process, but sometimes we go through hardships in order for this release. It's, it's to help us go through this release, okay? Sometimes... Um, Yeah, look, we have the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. Some of you might be actually like moving here, okay? Um, <coughs> like across seas or something, or like a big distance here. Um, there's also something that you're like, that's not hidden anymore, okay? Something that's very clear to you. Um, with the moon in reverse, this is like nothing is hidden. Everything is seen, okay? Um, but there is also some something here about possibly um, intuition. Maybe your intuition might be a little bit... No, that's not for you. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else may be experiencing um, some, some struggles in their intuition here. Okay. Yeah. Something's being revealed here with this moon in reverse. This is helping, uh, drive in a lot of focus, but it's also being revealed here where these, where these attacks might be coming in or could have been coming in here. Okay. That's very interesting. Um, yeah, you're defeating something here. Okay. Um, Yeah, it's like there's something that I see that you're very focused on here. You see this? Like this person is very focused on these three cups. And the divine is saying, but there's like this third cup here or this fourth cup here. Um, again, I don't know if it's you. I, honestly, I feel like once you release whatever this is, the number four might be significant. I feel like we picked up on that earlier too. That's funny. Um I feel like, honestly, when you release whatever this is, right, it makes me feel like this fourth cup is, that's when it shows up here, possibly, okay? Um, hmm. Yeah. So collective, again, it's, it's like some of you are maybe in this uncomfortable place and I don't even want to call it uncomfortable. You feel unsteady. 
because I feel a little unsteady. You know what I mean? Um, and, and don't let me project that onto you. If this is not, if that is not how you feel, this is not your reading, my friend. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, because if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. And you know what? There's millions of people on this planet, and I'm picking up on. Anyways, you get it. So, okay. So this unsteady feeling, though. All right, releasing this thing that you're holding on to, moving on here, okay? This is actually, um, yeah, bringing some stuff out of the darkness here, okay? And I really see it, but like putting you in this like quick movement forward, not only in your mind, like mental focus, but also physical action that is also supported by the divine here. Yeah, look, this Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, it's like, you, again, it's it's this energy where you're like, um, some, is it, there's somebody that might be concerned about where their, where money is going to come from or, um, But I also feel like there's this energy of, of like collective, some of you might be missing out on some stuff here because you're, you're feeling stuck about something that hasn't happened yet or something that's coming or you know, you're so focused, you're so worried about it here because maybe you intuitively feel it or something that you're like, um, it's like put you in this stuck position. Or this is somebody else that is feeling this way about, yeah, feeling left out here, um, possibly about some sort of new beginning that you might be going through. But um, for the most part, I, I really feel like this. Um, Yeah, it feels like you're getting really grounded here. So... Okay, we have the higher friend at the bottom of the deck. I like that. Um, feel like emotionally you're disconnecting from any type of um, wounds that that attach you to this lack okay um, hmm. all right let's get some final messages 2434 might be significant Final messages about this for collective, please. It feels like.
like with the lean, like going back to the lean, it feels like every time that every time you you fall, right? You really kind of fall a little further. It's almost like when you when you think about the trust fall, right? The person behind you holds their hands up. And it's almost like every time you you know, you get pushed back up, right? And then and then it's time to to fall into the divine again, right? Every time it's like the the catch is lower and lower and lower and you've got to fall a little bit further. And you know that feeling in your gut like you're going down you know, like when it, what it feels like when you're falling, you know what I mean? Like some of you might be experiencing that or um, something about that though. So yeah, final messages please for the collective, but it, but it's like every time it's, it's a little bit more comfortable than the last, even though it is a further fall. Collective, some of, some of you may be, um, somebody from your past is trying to figure out whether or not, like, I don't know, whether you are just extremely intelligent or if you're very, very um, tapped in here, okay? Um, and the answer is you're very, very tapped in, okay? <laughs> you are, you are, you're very tapped in. Uh, but yeah, this is somebody that's, um, is indecisive about that um, and that's their problem right uh, i hope it's not you i hope you're not indecisive about your intuition because uh the six of wands almost wanted to come out in the reverse because if you are that's not a victory for you okay Why did I make that face? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, listen. Somebody else from the past, okay? Uh, you may be indecisive on letting somebody else from the past in here, but I really don't feel that way um, because I feel like they're still in a lot of restrictions here, okay? And they're lacking emotional maturity. I, I don't know. There's a nostalgic energy here that's restricting you. Okay. Also, I feel like um, I don't know. I feel like collective. Some of you are. Uh, yeah. Look. The magician with the two of pentacles, the priorities, creation priorities, right? It's like, I feel like um, some of you are like questioning your victory. It's like you've come this far and you're like questioning it. And it's kind of like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, because like the scales are really balancing out for you here. Okay. Um Yeah, I feel like there's something that has been like in your mind is going to be in the physical. Okay, so maybe you've been given some sort of vision or some sort of uh, collaboration or some sort of connection, some sort of idea, some some sort of opportunity. But there's something that's been in your mind, right? Maybe they're giving me like a, it could have been like a wish or a dream or like, and you know, just something. It feels like it would be exciting. Okay, Um 
that this is actually going to, you're going to start seeing it in the physical. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, anyways, basically, I feel like this message is to let you know, collective, that you're, you're like, you, maybe you're feeling a little unsteady here, okay, but you are fully supported, all right, um, and, and that when the time is right, right, that moment that finally you just kind of lean into that, and you're like, all right, here I am, I'm right where I'm supposed to be, this is kind of uncomfortable, but I'm gonna, do it right i'm gonna release the tension i'm gonna loosen on my jaw and i'm just gonna relax into this and that's when all of a sudden you're like oh okay and the divine's like and here you are ready on your next path <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah look i cut the deck at the temperance which is just breathe just breathe okay <laughs> okay <laughs> i think this i think this worked a lot better huh <laughs> I love you guys. We'll talk soon.